We go out inside the sea, and at times we'll be the side of the sea, at times we'll be inside the sea. I was having to join the sea. Three children. When the son died, he asked me that he will make me to be poor for life. I will not have a child. I say it's a lie. That's how to come and sign that one. Please subscribe, share, like. If you want more videos, please hit the notification button. Love you all. Thank you. Hello, everyone. This is Emma from Tema. I am sure you are doing fine by his grace. Today, we're going to watch a video from Emmanuel TV. Please join me to watch it and please share it because you know what? You are saving someone's life for his glory and you'll get the blessing for that. Let's watch. Submission this body. Leave me alone. What's your mission this body? My spiritual wife. Okay, so what's your mission? I will destroy him. I already destroyed him. How? Oh, speak oh. out. I'll finish up destroying him for his life. Nothing about his life at How all. How do you affect his career? I'll finish his career. In what way? He have a personality, but he cannot use it. He have a personality, he cannot use it. Okay. <laughs> what about his family? I'll destroy his family. Mother was having a children. Okay. He remained two of them. And I'm going to freeze him. I'm going to kill him now. This year we kill him. Why do you kill them, their family? How do they are their family again? Which way are you to him? It's my husband. Okay, what can you say concerning everything he has been saying? We have the spirit of poverty, hunger. We have barrenness. He spoke about... Dead. What work are you saying about that? There are seven in number. It's only two of them that remain. All of them are dead. Leave me alone. Jesus. Out the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Is your body. Out the name of Jesus. You are free. Thank you, Jesus, for his freedom. Did you hear what the demon said? He has personality, but he cannot use it. God did not create us for nothing. And I always say that no matter how God will create you, he has a purpose for your life. In what shape you are, small, big, medium, whatever, he has a purpose for it. So you can hear it from the demon that he has a personality. See him, but he could not use it for anything. They don't want us to do anything for God. So therefore, when you want this kind of things, don't take it lightly. Please go for deliverance. And you know, I will keep on ringing it until the Lord calls me home. Go for deliverance. Let's watch it. Este hombre ha sido declarado libre de esa esposa espiritual que estaba atormentando su vida. Who is she to you? Who is she to you? Who is she to you, sir? Son épouse reçoit la prière au nom de Jésus. Mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, you are free. Déclaré libre pour la gloire de Dieu. Son couple, son mariage a été restauré pour la gloire de Dieu. Gracias, Jesús. Esta familia ha sido declarada libre. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm delivered. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Well, we thank God that they are delivered and even the wife. And it's a good thing they delivered his wife too because when you are married to someone who is under the control or the influence of darkness, you, the husband or the wife, both of you have to be delivered because if you are not, by all means, one will go back and influence the other because they are not. They will push them back to where they, they used to be. So therefore, when both of them are delivered, it's a victorious thing. Not only one, but both has to be delivered so that they will be free from all the bandages of the enemy. And that was how the family received their freedom. Sir, you're welcome. Please can you introduce yourself and the person standing beside you before sharing with us your testimony. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. I thank you for today. I stand in the altar and testify the goodness of God in my life. My name is Samson Orobo. The wife, the woman beside me is patient Orobo. All started when I was young. Where my mother wants to go to the market or you want to go to the farm. 
he always dropped me for one abalis person there. Yeah, that place, that woman is a mommy spiritual uh, person. He served different friend marriage, most different friend marriage from all the rooms. Now, you can see that they are free. And this man said when he was little, his parents usually leave him for a woman who worship mommy. Hmm, maybe that woman babysits their children for them. They have nowhere to take the child, so we have to be careful where we leave our children because that could be a distraction for our children someday. Be very careful where you leave your children, who babysits your children. You know, I should have known that before. You know, be careful who babysits your children, especially in this country. You, we have to leave our children anywhere at all because you need to go to work. But seeing these things, you need to be careful who babysits your children so that your children won't have to pay for it someday and blame you for it. So when people come to that place to serve, they keep chicken, keep goat, keep different friend meat. We are very happy to be eating this stuff. We eat. We chop with them. That's the place we almost stay. Day and night, we always stay that place. So when I'm getting to 10 to 15, 12 to 15 years, so I experiencing a woman in the dream. We come to me, we just play. We go out inside the sea, and at times we'll be the side of the sea, at times we'll be inside the sea. So small time, when I'm getting to 18 years, I was having to join the sea. Three children. Then when I'm getting to 20 years to 20 something, yeah, 22 years, so I experienced that what I'm going through is not good. So I started rebooking it. So when we come, we quarrel. At times I go to the sea to see those children, we play together and all those things. Then the woman was having three children. So there is one day when I started dating uh, my wife. So that, that one of the first son died. That way the quarrel just come. So started fighting me. Then when I was sleep with my wife, it would share two of us to we'll sit in the center. At times I will leave that place. At times I will come back again. Then I will know that she come. Wow, did you see what I said? Now from his childhood, 12 years all the way, 15 years, the demons take him to see, to play, and to do all kind of things. And even up to 18 years, he started having children underneath the water, I think three kids. And now that he's up to the age to get married, those demons have started to fight him. His water child, one of them died when he got married. And so this water parent is upset whenever he is there with his wife. You come in between them. Do you see what is going on? This is serious. It's not a story. It's very, very serious. If you're experiencing those things at any age, at any time, please go for deliverance. We thank God for Prophet T.B. Joshua. That now you can go anywhere around the globe and get your deliverance for free even online for free without paying anything the glory will go to god please do it for you do it so that you'll be free to do the works that god has created you to do don't let an enemy an enemy stop you from doing god's work i always see the shadow but i don't see her face but i will see the shadow but where we are see i see her face I'll see the shadow. Then I will get up. At times I will knock that place again. I will shoot my wife near. So we started strongly. When the son died, he just tell me that he will make me to be poor for life. I will not have a child. I say it's a lie. We started battle. The battle was prayer. I was using power. I was using prayer. My prayer was not working, but my prayer was, it was my, my power was not working, but my prayer was working. At times when I know the period of 12 o'clock, Usually they'll come, I will start prayer. So that very day will not succeed me. So that is how we start. Give me poverty, give me barrenness, we were struggling. Then when I see that situation, I went to learn a driver. I started using a truck. For that I had some opportunity to have my own truck. So I was going, I come back. There's a day I see her in the dream. 
He said, you will destroy my life. I said, you cannot destroy my life. Before I come back to this Jebode, I was going to Abba when I carried goods to Abba. Before I get to Jebode, the very cold knock. That, I, don't, I don't even tell my wife. I say, okay. I just call my wife. I say, what is happening? See what is happening now? Sir, I'll go to do it. I say, you say there's load this side. I say, yes, there's load. I say, I'm afraid, though, for our robber not to come and collect the, carry the load on the road. Then my wife said, okay. I run to my wife. We gather money. I want to go and buy another agent. Couple it there. After I couple that agent, I'd go and draw the load at a bar. Problem start. Another problem to problem. Another problem to problem. Another problem to problem. Then I just sell the vehicle. I went into farming. First, I just brought 20 acres. For that 20 acres, I plant planting. For that 20 acres, I make a coconut farm. And suddenly, after the, a year to start investing the goods, the farm, then there were one white man and uh, three black man with jeep. They come, they say, uh, they are the people that acquire this uh, land now, this area now. They want to plant a palm tree. I said, okay. I negotiate with them. They say, okay. I said, that there's a situation for two years so that I can still reap some area. I can still benefit some area. They say, okay. After some time, they started Buddhism area. I thought they would leave me home. For some time, I see they carry Buddhism, but Buddhism everything. They say that is the place they want to put their me. The Buddhism everything. When the guy got married, the demon lady said he's going to make his life miserable and he's going to make him very poor. And so this guy, even though his wife doesn't know much about what is going on, he is able to try and set up a business for himself. Like first of all, he went to buy a truck so he can do business with it, him and the wife, but it did not work. And now he has to sell that truck and go into farming and that too, it wouldn't work because because people came and they said they want that land to plant palm plantation on it. And with that too, the people who came, they just bulldozed, destroy everything just to do their farming and everything that is supposed to be selling is all gone. Well, the enemy is trying hard, but we have a living God. And so my people, anything like that going on in your life, go for deliverance. So I more strongly, do everything. I wanted to cry, but once spirit just tell me, say, don't follow my son, the end? He said, move, don't cry. I don't cry. Then the white man just called me by, say, please, have 200,000. I refuse. But when I get him, you car to go, you call the thing. I collect the 100,000 for him. I hold him. I get to, I tell my wife. My wife was encouraging me. After some time again, how I go to do? I said, okay, I'm going to go inside the family again. I gather money. I went to the family. I carry five acres. I plant yam. So after investing of yam, I tie a barn of for 45 uh, barn. Then there is one in the ground and will tie. So before I know, my boss here called me and said, Ah, Oga, come home. I said, Wait, you say, Cow, don't chop me yam. I say, can I chop me? I say, yes. I say, I may be not the one when I put for ground. After everything, the white man and the group gave him 100,000 naira just to compensate him. And then he went into farming and he grew yam. And after the harvesting of the yam now, they put all the yams in bands. And while they were going to look for a vehicle to come and ship all the yam to wherever they are, they have to take them. His boys just called him and said, come and see a cow. Some cows came to eat all of the yam. He said, are you sure it's cow that came to eat all of the, the yam? He said, yes. So he has to rush back, find out. So let's hear what he has to say. Now the job. I said, if you are not let them enter the one attack for a bank. Now I'll drive, oh, I reach that place, carry bike, boo, I reach from. As I offer sight down, everything, I just see the way they take over and he come out. Now I say, this one not true. I reach there near and hey, I look. Here's one come out for my eye again. Something you speak to me, say, don't cry. I all go around the barn. I all shake my head. I shake my head. I say, thank you, Jesus. I all move. I've been doing it before, but because of a certain thing at time, when I see the video, I started feeling it again. So I all delete it. So that's where the trouble starts. Started experiencing barrenness, poverty. My wife was the one that taking care of uh, the home. So... There's a time I sent my uh, Nissan Patrol. I used to all goods for the farm out to carry my workers to the farm. I sell it. I used to pay for our rent. 
So that's how the poverty just start. So now again, they come to spirit of death. When my father die, there's one of my sisters, he's the breadwinner of the family. So he gather money, he's the one that just buried up to do the burial, he shot. So after finishing the burial, then <clears throat> after three months, he get an accident, he die. That is where the problem just start. The family collapse. Then <clears throat> the other month, the other year again, another one died. That was ROS in the Nigeria Army. The other year he gave the senior one die. Then I said, hey, I'm the next. I said, well, no problem. I said, but to prayer, start. Start praying every day, praying. There can't be a prayer, worry yourself. So from there, we was trying. So he leave me, he killed the, the next boy, because we have uh, boy, four boys, four guests. The other year again, kill the other one. The other year again, kill the other one. He remained two of us. I said, he cannot kill me. So, he was trying to kill me for long. There is a time, <clears throat> I was in the dream. See one man, just come. You all make an attention, pa. I said, eh, huh? what is happening? He said, eh, huh? he should do it like this, ba. So, one time he shoot me in, the, in my neck. So, as he shoot me, I wanted to wake up, but something just tell me, say, relax, 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 relax. You are not alone, you are not alone. We are with you, we are with you. So I sleep off again. Then I see that Karami rushed me to the theater. They started operating the, the bullet. Come out all the old bullet. Remove the old bullet on that wound, go that place, they remove it. Well, praise God. God knows the people who do not know him that well. He's always keeping them, protecting them, just to keep them onto the path where he can finally deliver them. Because this guy doesn't know much about God, but he, he knows that there is a God and God can save him. So he prays. He said he, he became a prayer warrior. We might not know what he's saying, but God is hearing him because he's going through too many things. Look at this demon. How he's making his life miserable. You know, this guy have to sell the land just to pay his rent. After everything the yam, everything. Now the, 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 the demon has made his wife barren that he cannot have a baby. Now, poverty. Now, he's killing his family one at a time. You know, almost he's killing them all. And then, I think he's a stand to die. So he has to also be prayer. And one time they came to shoot him on his neck. But then he was going to force to wake up and the God sent his angels to say, worry, we are with you. And he was able to be taken to the theater. God loves him. Taken to the theater and was operated on. Spiritually, he could have died. But we have a living God who keeps he, the Bible said, He, God, makes the sun shine for the unjust and the just. What a mighty God we say. Because if it wasn't for so, He keeps an eye on everybody. And He saves His children. He knows we're innocent. We thank Him all. We thank Him. And my people, I'll say it again. If you're going through all these things, go for deliverance. Because the enemy, He came to steal, kill, and destroy. And that's what he does. To, he plays his card on innocent people, people who don't know all that they do. They start stealing little by little, and then the destruction comes. Still heal you spiritually, and then the destruction comes. So therefore, please, go for deliverance. Anything before you might say, oh, it's nothing, it's just a dream. Don't take it lightly. It's not just a dream. It's the work of the enemy. Go for deliverance. They use needle, remove the powder. That gunpowder, they remove, they remove everything. They wash it seriously. After washing it, they, they treat it. After they treat, they stretch it off. Then they bandage the, the neck. They touch me, I just wake up. So I wake up, I look around, look around. I say, ah. I say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. As I stretch my neck, it draw me. Then I remember, I say, ah, see what I can't tell. I say, thank you, Jesus. I was thanking God. So, the next year again, my family come to my house for New Year, Christmas and New Year. We were celebrating, do everything. So, we were in the parlor watching the malware telly. So, I now go to the kitchen to collect uh, meat. 
collect some meat when my wife was frying the kitchen. As I test the meat on my mouth, it caused a problem to me. All my system collapsed. All my head to my toes collapsed. I said, ah, this is my wife. I look, I was seeing different friends. Strength I said, ah, son, I die. Oh. If you are shot now, these people now, they will not eat this food. So I just go to the bedroom. I just arrange myself as dead man. I take my cloth, cover. So, small time slip up. I just see that. See, man of God did the dream. Man of God, just come. Just that I go and visit a man of God at home. He said, you come? I say, yes. He said, why come? I say, yes. He said, me, I sit down, I sit down. Small time, look at me, sir. Look at Kojo for your body, oh. He said, Kojo, there your body. I say, Kojo, he said, yes. Are you not seeing it? I said, I'm not seeing it, oh. He said, Kojo, there your body. Now, he said, me, I stand up, I stand up. He said, you, Kojo, ah, to this body. Sorry to take you back. Which man of God were you referring to? She's not prophet, she be Joshua. So, so, it was commanded the, the, the spirit away out of my body. So, before I fell down, then I now wake up. I meet my people in the parlor, they was playing, dancing. I say, oh, I call my wife, I say, we don't live now. <laughs> as soon as they dance, now for cry tired today. He say, wait, <laughs> You say what you not tell us, say what I experience you. Well, glory be to God because I think the enemy really plotted to kill him. He said uh, it was an occasion and they were, uh, he invited few people into his house and they were celebrating, watching Emmanuel TV and it's celebrating. So he went to the kitchen, got some meat and while he was eating it, everything, his body just dropped, like he just collapsed. Because he doesn't want to cause an alarm, he just went straight into his bedroom and lied down. And then uh, while he was lying yeah, he saw prophet tb joshua in his dream and i don't know what word is kojo <laughs> he said they, he was telling him that they they have put kojo in his body i don't know what kojo is so maybe they will say it later on and uh, so he commanded whatever spirit that it is to get out of his body and thank god he was able to wake up to join the people and he was telling his wife you you would have had another barrier today and that would have been me and we thank god that at least god sent prophet tb joshua to come and deliver him in his dreams ah glory be to god you see eh? see eh? they tell my wife say thank you the rest say thank you they don't take it serious they don't know that uh, <laughs> so that's where the problem start again then again last year surprisingly the dream i was in prison so they took me out. They said, I come and sign dead warrant. Say dead warrant. I say yes. We struggle. Quarrel, serious quarrel. But just like that dream, somebody helped me. I don't want to put that person in trouble. So I have to sign so that I will not put that person in trouble. So I signed that dead warrant. But in that dream, I escaped. So that one again, that year, I crossed it again. This year again, it was trying to kill me when I travel. I go to a business. Uh, Thing for Aunchi. As I'm going, see trailer, see me. I just say, okay, I'm Sarada. This is the time I want to die now. Luckily, for that trailer to hit me, because I was inside the car, the yard caught in hand on my side. They are free for that death again. Well, according to him, um, in the dream again, they asked him to come and sign his death warrant. He was there with someone. First, he said he's not going to sign, but because he was there with somebody, he has to sign it so that that person will skip the death. And so, in and so he was able to wake up, but then they couldn't do him anything. And he was on his way on a journey, and they set him up with a trailer truck, which would have killed him. But thank God for Jesus, the trailer truck just swept the car, and he ended up being free and not being killed. Glory be to God. That's why we are battle uh, spirit of death. It's almost uh, a year, so years now. So I thank God for my life, for my deliverance. I thank God for my everything, for everything about me. Because what God has taken away from my body now, nobody can take it out past God. I thank God. When I call this When I come this on Sunday, uh, last Sunday, 
I will arrange for the second row there. Where the evangelists are spraying, they were spraying for the first row. Just like I have 20 bars in my chest. Something was telling me to come out. So I was, something was still telling me to sit down. They went and come to my side. <laughs> I was receiving fire. That Saturday speaker, I don't know what I speak, but now I'm seeing it now. So I thank God for my life. Everybody had to help me to charge Emmanuel three times. Thank God for what God Almighty has done in your life. So, after your deliverance, what are the changes you have experienced? Everything changes, oh, because when I eat salad, I eat chicken, I must eat in the night. I must eat in the night. You mean before your deliverance? For my deliverance. You like I eat salad, I eat chicken, I eat uh, anything. That is special able for the night to eat. I must sit into the night. They will give me salad again. So, <laughs> oh, I thank God. Those who are now, what the law? Hmm. You mean anything you eat physically in the nights when you right, sleep in the dream, it. you still have a repetition yes, of salad? I'll see it. I'll okay. see it. Glory be to God. Hmm. Man is suffering in this world. If he's not for God, if had not been for the Lord that is on our side, tell me, where would I be? Where would I be? We thank God for Jesus and God for the Holy Spirit. Hey, if he wasn't for God that is on our side where would we be now we thank god that this guy has been delivered finally you know he has been through a lot a lot almost every year somebody has to die and then after they kill them all now they are pinning it on him they definitely want to take him but if god be for you who can be against you they will try anything it will not work because we have a living god he said the battle belongs to the lord he said be still and know that i am god and he is god he created all these demons how dare they take advantage of human beings thinking that god will not fight for us we thank god for jesus and he's doing it for us and so finally well after all the troubles that they went through he finally got delivered but then before then he said Be those days any food rice chicken whatever salad they the demons will come and feed him in the night with the same food whether he likes it or not he has to eat it Thank God for this deliverance. Praise God. He's free now from all those bandages and all the torments of the enemy. There is time for everything. The Bible has said it. To everything, there is a season. To everything on this planet Earth. After all, people die. People are born. So therefore, there has to be time for everything. Otherwise, people would have grown to become stones. But we thank God for Jesus that whatever the enemy's plans are, does not work forever thank you jesus so therefore for you to be free go for deliverance so that your life will not be useless until you grow old do the work of god while you are young seek for deliverance so you'll be free to do his work for his name's sake but now after your deliverance do you still not like that again not till i talk again Do you still have any other nightmares that you have been experienced before? Uh, that spirit of death and uh, uh, anger, all this. Uh, yeah, because when I think of my past, you talk to me. I don't tolerate you. I, I don't blow you. But I, I look my body now. When I see person, I need to make me annoying. But I just see myself saying, you say, no, don't do that. So. Praise the Lord. So with what God Almighty has done in your life, what word of encouragement do you have for listeners out there who are experiencing the same challenges you went through? Uh, the advice I'm going to give is that uh, people who have children, they mind the way they take their children to somebody to hold for them. Maybe I go to the farm, I go to the market, I bet mama hold this thing for me, baba hold this thing for me. You have to be very careful because you don't know the type of person you are giving your child to. 
The second one, believe in God. And be praying for a year to be in order and testify the goodness of God now. So, I believe you people are still praying. May God hear your prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. As the Bible says, watch and pray. So, as parents, let us be watchful of what we do. So, let's listen to your wife. Ma, you're welcome. Please, can you tell us your name and tell us how has this challenges affected you, your husband's challenges, how has it affected you as a wife? Emmanuel. Good morning, church. My name is Mrs. Patience Orobo. I'm from Edo State. The man beside me is my lovely husband. What my husband has said is true. We pass through a lot of problems. I suffer for the poverty, and for the barrenness. There's no way I did not go in Edo State to look for a child. When I, when I know God, God blessed me. I was pregnant. After three months, a dog came to me in the dream and bite my hand. That is how I lost the baby. Since then, no child. I suffer in my husband's hand. He had a hot temper. He used to beat me with quarry. Concerning that poverty, and they want to take care of the home. I suffer a lot. So I thank God for everything that God has delivered my husband. Last Sunday, when we come here, evangelists deliver, God delivered my husband through evangelists. I thank God for everything. We are free now. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. So we thank God for what God has done in the life of your family. But after his deliverance, what changes have you noticed in him? Hmm. It's changing so. Before I can talk to him, maybe what he wants me to do, I did do it. The next thing is lap. We quarrel, we quarrel, we play for only 20, before 20 minutes, we don't quarrel. But now, when I talk to him, we say, ah, what do you want me to do? You say, what? We are now playing, no more quarrel, no fighting. We talk together, we play together now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God for what he has done. So, what is your word of advice to people listening to you? My word of advice to people, children of God, man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua said, there's God appointed time for everything. That we should wait for our time. When it is your time, God will hear your prayer. This is our time now. And I also pray that God will hear your prayer today. I also want to thank the woman of God, Mrs. Pastor Every Joshua. Since our deliverance, we are inside the church. He cared for us. Ma, we know you are overwhelmed and you have a lot to say concerning what God has done in your life. We really appreciate God for what he has done. And we also want to encourage you to continue to make God's word the standard for your life. Oh my goodness, I feel sorry for the wife. Look at what she went through. Most of men, whatever is troubling them, they won't communicate it with the wife. But rather, they'll be fighting the wife as if the wife is the one doing him. They keep things to themselves. Tell the woman, maybe she might even help you through something. Men, don't keep things to yourself. Open up. And for women, pray for them. You, I, I know this woman have done a great thing by going to church and until God. God has delivered him. So women, please, when you're going through those things, please keep on praying and go somewhere for deliverance. Go to the house of God for deliverance. Don't go to places where they might add more to it for you. But rather, go to the right place. Go for deliverance. All T.B. Joshua's people are all over the globe. Go for one of them for deliverance and be free. And we thank God for the mighty thing that he has done in this family's life. I know this woman, she will have a baby so to glorify God's name and put the devil into shame. The devil is wicked, but God is good. Thank God for Jesus. <laughs> Even me, they battle me all the time. So <laughs> as I'm sitting here, they are losers. We thank God for Jesus anyways. So my people, thank you very much for watching this video with me. Share them, please. Share them and set people free. This is Emma from Emma, love you, love you, love you, love you.